Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorns, um, the host of the Chris Thorns Show. It's always uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever uh, you're watching my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, I'm going to try to make this uh, quick or whatnot. So, a lot of you heard me talk about stories about my grandmother, right? And, um... Of course, a lot of you, especially people who probably have talked to me personally or know me personally, know that I'm still kind of hurting over that or whatnot. Hold on. Let me, uh... Sorry about that. <clears throat> but anyway, um, a lot of y'all know that, uh, you know, still kind of grieving over that, you know, next month would be uh, a year since she been gone. One of the last times that I talked about my grandma was probably like a couple of days ago. And uh, don't y'all know that, like, when I rested my eyes that night or the afternoon or whatnot, she popped up in my dream and it, and it's kind of weird and kind of funny at the same time how it happened what happened was I was walking up to this store or this laundromat or something and guess who busts out the door my grandmother uh, she walks out the door and I'm looking like grandma hey grandma she spoke but she kept walking and she got in the car as if she was in a rush. And I'm just like, Grandma, where where are you going? Where's you going? You know? And she didn't respond. And like right before she took off, you know, that's when I woke up from the dream. So as I was sitting up here and getting ready to go to work and take my client in church, I just thought about that dream. The bar had a song called uh, A Dream, A Simple Fantasy, that I wish was wish was reality. That's what it says. A dream is a fantasy. I mean, excuse me. A dream, a simple fantasy that I wish was reality. So as I ponder about that dream, I'm trying to understand because a lot of people believe that dreams have a meaning. I do too, to an extent, that I believe dreams have a meaning. And I sit up here and thought, you know, why was my grandma in such a rush? You know, you would think that she would want to spend at least five minutes with her grandson. And I don't know, grandson, anybody who was in her life that she had a part of. You know, you think she want to stay down and um, say something to him. But this time she didn't. She just up and left. So for any of y'all who analyzes dreams, I want y'all to help me with this one. As much as I love my grandmama, as much as I miss her, why did she didn't stay to talk to me? Was she, was she in a rush to go back upstairs? Was she on the time limit? Or was that her way of saying, you know, hey, grandson, I ain't forgot about you, you know, but, you know, I can only say hey right now. Until next time, I'll see you again soon. I don't know, because in another dream I had about her, she had been there for a minute, talking, if not to me, you know, to other people. And I'd be in the dream watching my grandmama enjoying herself. But this time, though, she had to go. You know, so I sit up here. I don't know. I had to take a break after I got dressed, and I sat down and had to think about that. You know, so uh, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, that dream kind of got me thinking a little bit. You know, uh, what what was the what was her big rush, and um, why did she have to leave so quick? But um. I don't know. I mean, that was just on my heart, and I want to do a video about it. So, if any of y'all, you know, who I guess someone in the expert of analyzing dreams, hit me out with this one because I, I don't understand it. I don't. 
I'm gonna let the uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace. I love you, Grandma.